Welcome back to the Rhonda Swan Show. Well, I am so excited for uh, today's guest. In fact, she is such a dynamic lady and I'm real excited to learn more deeply about her because she's also one of the new authors in our upcoming book, Women Gone Wild, Intuition Edition, and her name is Beata Nimsky. She has been a successful entrepreneur for three decades, supporting companies and their executives in implementing more than 500 customer projects and competence analysis tools to develop leadership and sales skills. Beata is currently in the process of setting up a network marketing company in Europe, in which she accompanies people to become self-employed by sharing her knowledge of corporate management and leadership. Biata, I am so excited to have you here today. I want to talk about all these amazing things and um, learn about you. How are you, my dear? Good morning. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Thank you so much, Rhonda. I'm excited and thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm happy to talk with you. Yeah, me too. You know, I love this is I love this platform that we've got because it allows us to really get inside of the background, the stories behind these amazing people like yourself. So why don't we start there? Like, how did you really get into leadership and management and development? Um, and then, of course, I want to talk afterwards about this new company that you're creating, because um, I think that when we have, you know, these incredible experiences it allows us to be such an amazing entrepreneur. Yeah. How did I get into it? You know, I was a normal employee years ago, <laughs> so about 33 or 35 years ago. And, you know, I was one who always was over delivering what was expected from me. Right. Because it, it, I, I always did things, uh, they, they were fun for me. So, and then I had a car accident. And uh, this car accident was really hitting me in my spine because mm. two cars bumped into me and, and I was out of the job since wow. more than five months. Wow. And yeah, it was wow. <laughs> but this was the best what could happen to me in my life. It was my wake up call. And um, the other best thing was I went to a medical doctor at that time, 1987. He treated me with acupuncture hands-on processes, mm -hmm. chiropractic and homeopathic, which was really unreal at that time. Yeah. Everybody says, Beate, you are crazy, go into hospital. And he said, no, I don't want you to go into hospital. There they want to damage you even more. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, and then he was such an angel for me. He, he passed me to Mantak Chia, this is a Chinese master. And I studied with him. And when I studied with him, I experienced the life force energy. Oh, I feel it. it. Oh, you just gave me goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was a meditation and my spine, my spine was damaged still then. And I felt this energy from the microcosmic orbit like a hot wave running through my body, over my body, over my whole being and I had pain a lot and I had light experience a lot mm. and I was sitting there crying. Wow. And you know, after that I said I have to learn this. I, I have to go deep into it. And I asked him whether I could be his student and he said yes. And so I worked with him and he with me more than 10 years I organized him. Um, and this was the turning point because this energy I got, I healed myself with that and I, I got the power to quit my job. I was in a management position in a car rental company <laughs> and I quit my job in 1989 and I managed him bringing him over from um, US to Germany, to Munich, to Vienna. And so I studied very close with him, 10, over 10 years. Wow. And in between, I, I said, I have to bring this into the world. But in 1989, Rhonda, nobody wanted to have it. Right. Yeah, they, <laughs> they were so bad, you, right? Yeah, you are you are in a in a in a cult. Yeah, exactly. Be, be please be normal as you were. And I said, no, this is something 
very big. I, I couldn't believe it. So then I said, okay, what can I do? And there is no accident. There is no <laughs> things which can't help you. So I got a phone call from a previous colleague and he said, you, I have a company. They want to teach their people different things. And you are just right in doing different things. Go in contact with him. And I did. And you know, this was the point when I started to combine my leadership knowledge mm. with energy work. Wow. And with meditation. And we started with 70 people. And I had the company then with 500 people, one, one group after another. And this yes, was then the referral to all other people, you know, I never did acquis acquisition. Can you imagine? Never, ever. For 30 years, I'm independent. I never did it. I was always referral, referral, yeah. referral. Yeah. And so I, yeah, as you mentioned, I had more than 500 companies, which I work with. I work with CEOs still. Mm -hmm. They are in my coaching programs. And um, especially when there is mergers, you know, when yeah. different cultures come together, I'm there so to bring a new mindset to the to the especially to the leader, to the CEOs, and then the the first level from them. And um, yeah, this is what I'm doing. Well, you know, I, I thank you for that because I you probably don't know this. I broke my back in. Uh, when was it? Yeah, almost 98, 99. Same thing, right? And back then, people were like, oh, you're so airy-fairy, hokey-pokey, right? And I came from corporate. I quit my corporate job in 04, and I was starting to bring that same type of mindset into my, my work. And it's interesting now, today, right? Everyone, it seems like everyone understands it, right? They understand frequency, they understand healing, uh, and it's starting to get even in growing, but the fact that you're bringing it into corporate, I think is a really, um, it's a beautiful shift and a change. And so I want to kind of ask you and dig a little bit deeper into that then, because it really can be said that one of the hardest things to do in life is expecting others to change. And the second is changing yourself. And so how do you think that this kind of work that you've done with professionals for decades, what's like that fundamental principle that you will turn to, to help them with, you know, sustaining this type of uh, individual transformation, if you will, right? Because I think people get it and then they go back into their old way and they keep doing their old way. So how do you help, you know, CEOs stay in that frequency? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is, this, is the main, this is the main thing, um, going back into the old and the normal, yeah. so the so-called normal. So what I do, I explain very clearly what is all about the mindset because mm. it's not the mindset it's consciousness yes and it's being it's being aware and you know i i always uh, try to give examples my my favorite examples is you know satellites so what is a satellite for a satellite is for to receive information and to broadcast it for example into your television so nobody sees this but the information is coming through and you can see it mm. so every every human being on this planet is like um satellite because we receive information and as well we send information mm. so the the whole universe is not uh, empty space it is Full of information and now it depends on every single person how you set up your satellite you know it, when in my in my youth time we had the radios and you had to to put the the, the, the how do I say um, antenna the or the the dial there, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the dial yeah to to receive a, a good quality of information and this is the same when you set up your mind, for example, to really know to receive information for these things which are possible, uh, uh, important for you, you set your satellite and mm. then you are connected with the universe. And the universe with all information 
is something that you can draw in. And this is where people say, okay, this has something to do with intuition, therefore I'm happy to be in the book. <laughs> right? <laughs> and in intuition, yes, is the, you know, is the whisper mm. of your inner voice. Yeah. And it's not only the inner voice is something deeper, and it's as well the whisper of the universe. And if you try to, to listen to it, then you become more aware and more aware. Mm. And then you know that you know. And this is the process uh, which I'm trying to give all people I get in contact with to understand that you receive and send simultaneously. And then that you have to be in your body, be here in, in yourself present to listen to it. And, you know, when somebody starts, they think they are crazy, you know, so because you get information, you said, what's that about, yes. you know, so, well, you know, I'm it's, a buddy. it's yeah. interesting. I want to, because I want to ask you more about this, because this is, I'm so fascinated by, you know, this type of work, you know, because the moment that I started to become more aware as well, my everything shifted in my life, my business, my partners, the decision making that I was, you know, having the people that were being attracted. And so how do you see right now, like with because you are working with CEOs, are they more um, are they more open to getting it in the beginning? Or you think it's a lot easier for them to, to recalibrate and then to stay in that moment? Because I think a lot of like C-suite, let's say C-level leadership, they, you know, they they. They, they feel it and they, their performance goes up, but then their performance can start to go down. And would you say that that is more pertaining to like a, a corporate business or is it more like they're a societal issue that pulls them back out? You know what I mean? Like when you, you, you yeah. get it and all of a sudden my environment says, no, this is crazy, do it like this. You know, so how do we keep that level of performance up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is more the societal thing mm. that as well, the individual has the tendency to still fit with them. Yeah. So not to, not to be different. Mm -hmm. But the main thing is we are a couple of millions of people on the planet and we are already different from each other. <laughs> so not to fit into the system is the main thing where you have to be bold, you know. So... Uh, First, break all the rules, and then you're happy. <laughs> yeah, right. So, and um, what I discover is that the the younger leaders, and I think younger at the moment, it's forty years or thirty five or right. something like that. <laughs> I love they that because I'm forty nine now. So the fact that you just said forty is young, I'm like, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations <laughs> yeah um, it's easier at this time because the awareness and the consciousness seems to to open up and this is not an esoterical thing yeah, anymore that's right and it's not a cult anymore so because it's proved scientifically it's proved for yeah. example yeah it's science and you can measure everything and you can measure your brain while you're meditating and I did this 30 years ago with Master Chia already, and they all said, you're crazy. But I know, <laughs> I know that it works. And, yeah, you're like, look who's laughing now, right? <laughs> yeah. I love and it. It's, it's something, you know, when, when one has really a deep experience, mm. when he practices it, like, like myself, I, I was honored to have this experience of light and everything. And, and the voice I am, you know, um, then then you want to have it. And when you want to have it and keep it, you are more able and you are more willing to mm. practice because it's as well practicing. On, it's as well practicing listening to yourself, you know, yeah. listening to this whisper to say, okay, what impulse did I just get? And not to push it away mm. because it does it's not normal or it doesn't fit the project at the moment but 
or also very often you get information for the next project already or for the future for the project yeah. and when they do learn this be aware with themselves then they can stick into it and stay with it as well in the business yeah and then comes the social part mm. and the social part is when you took over the energy from the others and you feel crampy or whatever you have to ask a question and the question is who does it belong to because when you are crampy it's not yours so you take you take over energy from all around from the employees the, the the fear and everything what what is in the universe and it's not you it doesn't has to do anything with your purpose with your inner strengths with with your talents mm. and when you listen and then and because the listening is so important when you then ask yourself who does it belong to is it mine does it belong to somebody else or something else and you wait a little then you get the answer and the answer is 99.9% somebody else <laughs> right it's so strong so, though and, I mean, you, like just yeah. just hearing yeah. you say this you know it brings as you're talking right it brings and i'm sure everyone that's watching it brings you into moments like as you know a business owner and moments were like wow was that mine and then you feel you're like gosh there's a reason why we do we talk so much about boundaries and when you do know who you are you realize like whoa that's not mine so now what, do I, what am I going to do about it, right? How do I then bring that away from me? And, and that's, I think, something that is part of, it, it doesn't have to be a skill, right? It's, it has to be a feeling, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it is awareness. It's yeah. more than a feeling. Yeah. You know, the, the difference between being aware and feeling something, feeling is, uh, is mostly connected with our physical body. Mm -hmm. uh, you feel that you are frozen and stuff like that. And awareness is, I sense it. Mm. And this, this sensation is uh, more subtle. And um, yeah, normally we are, we are used to say, okay, you feel it, um, but it's deeper. Mm. So there yeah. are different, different layers. Yeah. And um, yeah, um, yeah, as this, you this, said, this if is you big. are here, it's big work mm -hmm. though. I mean, this is, I think, um, you know, the where the direction that you are, are taking others and companies, I can see, you know, how, especially starting at the C level, um, you know, that C suite level and, and bringing them forward that just trickles down into their workplace, into their employees, into the decision making process. So I want to yeah. flip at the switch a little bit though, because all this work, this experience that you've had in decades, right, of understanding uh, leadership and, and but really getting this, 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 this modality, if you will, um, you're now starting to create a new company. And I, I want to learn more about this because it's such a, it's a very bold statement to say, okay, I'm going to take everything I've learned and then I'm going to create something that's going to also teach others how to create financial freedom, how to start their own businesses. And, you know, that's a big responsibility. And I, it sounds like that's something that you've been called for. Can you talk more about that, what the project is and how you got called to make such a, a drastic shift over too? Yeah, I'm happy because this is as well relationship. You know, the, the partner I'm doing this with, Markus Goller, he asked me and said, well, you know, Beata, I'm coming from the side, he comes from the financial side and stuff like that, and you are coming from the leadership and energy work, why don't we do something together? And he created the, the, the word already, the name already for the company, and he said to me, listen, what do you get when you hear the name? And he said, Biotonus. And I said, wow, Biotonus has something to do with the body, with the energy, with the wave, with the flow. I'm in. <laughs> so I was already in. And this was nearly three years ago. And we, we, ha we have a vision. And the vision, the vision is that we bring the people into their lives, um, the joy, the happiness. So the mission, the mission is um, 
yeah, empowering people to live wealthy, healthy, and happy. Mm. Because when you are happy, everything works. And we want that everybody who comes in touch with us and, and to join our network uh, creates his life as he or she would like to have it, no matter what is outside, no matter what restrictions. And, and this, is, this is our, <laughs> this, is, this is driving us. Yeah. Yeah. And so, so <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm like so excited. I'm, I know I want to learn more because, you know, because I when I first became more aware, right, when I was in corporate, I was a corporate executive for a Fortune 100 company and I found myself very trapped in all of that energy, and that force energy. And the moment I became more aware, I said, I've got to make a difference or, and make a change because I saw um, a woman put a six week old baby in daycare. And I said, I don't want to do that. But I didn't know how. I, I wasn't prepared to start a company. I wasn't prepared. And I actually started with a personal development company that had a network marketing base to it. I didn't even know what that meant, right? I had no idea what it meant. However, it changed my life because of the education, the structure. I didn't need a you know brick and mortar. I didn't need overhead. And so I'm very fascinated when someone takes the, the knowledge that they have and turns and creates something, especially within that type of industry. So um, what are the, you know, what is it based on? What are the products based on? Is it about your energy work? And, uh, you know, let's, let's talk about this because people sometimes put bad names on network marketing, MLMs, because they don't quite get it, right? But they change people's mm -hmm. lives. So um, the main part and everything else is built on the law of the universe, you know, we in, inside is as outside and vice versa. And therefore, it, the main part is what I bring into the company, the personal development. The second part, which is as well very important, is that we do produce products which help to be healthy. So we have energy drinks we have something for the weight and we have something for the skin and the the, the important thing is we produce it with yeah world we known people this may for example professor dr kleine gunk he is he is known all over the world uh, in in the parts of anti-aging, for example. Mm -hmm. And so he, his products and his development is in our company and with uh, yeah, many other people. So the products are healthy, are natural, and there is no single thing in harmful ingredients. Mm, all natural. So this is uh, absolutely support for, for yourself. And this was for me very important because, as you now know, uh, for me, everything is energy. Yeah, the mindset is energy, the body is energy, everything is energy. So when every everything which is supporting the energy I'm in. So and this was the, the second one. Mm -hmm. And the third one is this is unique. Every partner who wants to join us has the possibility to be part of the company as well. That means we have a special system where he can um, yeah, have shares, for example, mm -hmm. and then he will have from the whole world income, the dividends. Mm. And this is real, uh, yeah, this is real passive income. Mm -hmm. uh, because you don't have to have a, a, a huge group around you. And we don't have a system where somebody is on top and the other is there. So we have created a system where there is really a network. So there is not no hierarchy. So everybody supports everybody. And so even if you have another sponsor, we allow and we support that they all connect together so that there is that there is no nothing. No competition. Yeah. No, we are. We are against competition. Sometimes competition, okay, is okay when you say, okay, he or she did something great. How can I outcreate her <laughs> in being better, in being yeah, more energetic, in, in being in a higher level for myself? Then competition is okay. 
It's so brilliant. I absolutely love what you're doing. I mean, if you're thinking about the mindset, the health, and now the wealth, that's like a perfect combination. So how do they find more about the network? How do they find more about how they can work with you and be in this vibe of energy and frequency? <laughs> yeah, you just can join my websites. I have uh, a Nimsky Academy. This is one because I as well give uh, leader trainings and awesome. intuitive leader workshops. This is a 12 weeks program where everybody can join. So this is the Nimsky Academy and you can find everything about me and the network in biotonus.net. And the third part to get connected with me is one word.com. So you have three possibilities to get access to me. <laughs> I love it. Well, we'll make sure that everyone um, has all of these links and access. And, you know, I'm, I'm so excited for you to share this work also in the upcoming intuition book that we launched next year, um, you know, and, and sharing more about your work because what you're doing right now, Beata, is something that was never looked upon as normal. And now it's starting to become more normal because people like you are helping the public, the population become more aware. And I think that's something that most of the governments of the world don't want us to know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but we are unstoppable, you know? You are unstoppable, I am unstoppable, and nothing nothing can stop us. That's so. it. That's it. And that's yeah. what we're here for. We're on a mission to really help others know that they're unstoppable, believe it, and then allow that to come into their daily life. Beata, thank you so much for being here all the way from Germany to Bali. I can't wait to yeah. see you uh, early this next year. We've got all kinds of fun shenanigans with this book launch and all the beautiful things that we're doing to help women be more inspired. Thank you, my dear. Thank you so much, Rhonda. Thank you. All right, bye. bye, -bye. See you next time, everyone. Be unstoppable yes. and stay wild.